Awesome. Cool. So let's begin our meeting. So good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you, oh, there it is. There he is. Um, so we were just waiting for you, Tim. Like, where were you? We, like, like you hold off the whole meeting. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, future people. All right, anyway. All right. Well, so I think we have a kind of like a quorum. So let's get started. So I would like to go ahead and ask Johanna if she would like to give updates from the Zeek LT side. Uh, sure. I think the main thing that the C one of the main things the Zeek LT has done um, last month and is going to continue doing is um, Zeek Week organization stuff. Um, so um, in case you haven't been following that, Zeek Week is going to happen in August this year. We have a call for presentations open. If you have done anything um, at all that you think might be interesting to other people, um, please consider submitting a talk to Seek Week. Um, or if you don't want to submit a talk to Seek Week, consider coming to Seek Week. It's the first in-person Seek Week since two years ago. And before that, it has had been a couple of years too. So. Um, I'm sure that it will be a fun um, event. So um, that has been going on and we will be keeping busy with that for a while. Um, the call for presentations is out. Um, you cannot yet get tickets. We are working on that and I hope we'll be able to start ticket sale in the next week or two. There are just some um, small details to be ironed out there. Um, apart from that, the um, the leadership team um, discussed the um, XC supply chain attack and how this relates to the SEEK project. Um, if you're interested in that or in what we're doing in general, um, there is a slightly more thorough write-up of this in the SEEK leadership team meeting notes, which we put, um, always post on community.seek.org. Um, the short version is that an attack like that directly on Seek is very unlikely to succeed at the moment due to the way in which we are set up and how we accept contributions. Um, though um, you might have some chance to do things like that um, through downstream dependencies. And we are going to take this as an opportunity to publish a document and more guidance of how you should deploy Seek in a way that makes exploitation of even potentially existing falls very unlikely in practice. So in essence that even if there was some kind of bug in Seek that would be exploitable or if someone managed to add a backdoor to Seek, that if you deploy it in this way, uh, that you should not be able to do anything with that. Um, a bunch of people, um, and yes, and we're working on um, writing that, and hopefully it will just take a little, another couple of weeks. And we publish that via all of our typical channels. And I think that are the main points what LT has been doing since the last community call. Thanks, Johanna. Are there any questions for Johanna at this point? Okay, if not, then moving along. Um, Christian, would you like to share any updates on the Zeek open source project side? Sure, Sorry. sure, sure. Thank you, Fatima. I, I don't have a big update today. I'm going to make a, a small plug for the last community call where we spent perhaps you know 20 minutes or so walking a little bit through what has been happening in the six series of Zeek and, and what that means for Zeek 7, um, which is sort of coming on the horizon at this point. Um, development is in progress. Perhaps one of the more exciting things is that Tim is about to finish the work on, on the revamp of the telemetry framework, which is one of those steps that we're taking to basically disentangle broker our message passing layer uh, from, you know, sort of unrelated functionality so that we can do more proactive sort of experiments with alternatives. Um, other than that, I really don't think there are huge news. We are, well, there um, we have point releases coming on the horizon as well. I think, Tim, you said that, you know, maybe in the next few weeks would be a good time for that. Um, you can. Yeah, probably, probably <laughs> not next week, probably the week after. 
Tim is very busy right now. Somewhere so in the middle of May, it will happen. Right. So, so, and 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 that's how we plan for, uh, batch releases. Um, which, by the way, you can always see on GitHub. So, if you if you go on GitHub uh, in the Zeek, uh, um, you know, project, and you look at issues, there is a ticket pinned to the top that contains the list of things we plan to address in forthcoming patch releases. So you can see what is currently slated. It's sort of the usual mix of bug fixes and and related work. Um, so keep an eye out for those. And I think for this month, that is really all I can contribute here. It's going as usual, fast and exciting, but you have to look at GitHub to notice everything. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Thanks so much, Christian. Are there any questions for Christian? OK, if not, then um, moving along. So Richard, do you have any uh, updates to share on the communication side of the project? I do not. I'm just happy to be here. Thank you for joining. We we love more participation. So we really appreciate all of you guys uh, taking out some time to be here on the call with us. So, OK, with that, I think we are pretty much done with the meeting. Um, on the training subgroup site updates, we are right now currently working on getting our um, next set of trainings ready. And this year it will be in person. So hopefully we'll see you guys all uh, who would like to attend Zeek training this year in August at Zeek Week. We'll, we'll have more updates as we go along. It's still kind of like quite like a couple of months out. But um, if you have if you guys have not joined the training um, Slack channel under Zeek, we would highly recommend to join that because most of the updates we will be posting it there. And if you would like to see uh, anything new that we would be happy to like uh, add to our uh, training. So let us know if do, if you guys have any ideas on what you would like us to give training on, because usually we just kind of like um, go play by the ear, like whoever is in the training, we get a feedback from the audience if they would like to see the same content again in updated format or if they would like to add or remove something. So that feedback is really helpful. So if you guys have any comments, feedback on the training side of Zeek, please let us know in the um, training Slack. And um, other than that, yeah, just keep an eye out on this in general Zeek Slack channels. We will keep everyone posted regarding Zeek week and registration is open. So hopefully uh, most of you guys will be able to make it. And this is again, a great opportunity to, opportunity to meet all the Zeek developers and our community and users in the Zeek, Zeek Week event that is going to happen again um, in two years in person. So we are all very excited and looking forward to uh, meeting you guys there. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or if you if you are like not able to find any kind of link for registration or the CFP for Zeek, just let us know and we'll be more than happy to help you out uh, with that as well. So I think with that, if people would like to share any Zeek anecdotes for past month or so, if people have come across a cool bug or a solution, then the floor is open. Okay. Um, if not, then maybe. <laughs> cool. Um, all right. So I'll not kind of like keep you guys in this call. So hopefully I'll see you guys next month in our next Zeek community call. And hopefully we will have new Zeek anecdotes or if people would want to share anything cool that they have done with Zeek in the next call. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys have a good rest of the day and a good weekend. Likewise. Thanks, Fat. Thanks, Thank bye. you. Bye.